Hey everybody, Scout Crafty here again. It's uh, Dress Up Wednesday. I <laughs> hope you're doing well. Please excuse the uh, noise in the background. I have some uh, a load of laundry in the dryer and I'm trying to get that done. But uh, we got a few things to get to today. I want to talk real quick about uh, a couple things uh, to start off the show. And one is uh, about YouTube. Um, what, a couple months ago, I have an older TV. It's 20 something years old. And uh, they sent me a new cable box, the cable company. Unfortunately, my old TV didn't have an HDMI uh, a port. So um, I had to get a new TV, okay? So I went out and I got a, uh, a, a you know, flat screen TV. They're cheap enough. And um, it was lovely. It was much bigger than my old one. I was enjoying it. And I was watching a lot of YouTube and it was just, I don't know if you've noticed this, but over the last couple of years, YouTube is, has taken a lot of changes, not all for the best. And uh, like, for example, uh, one of the changes that you'll see in YouTube is that you can't go to somebody's channel and sit, take a search from their beginning videos up to the present, where uh, now the only way you could look at their uh, videos or their uh, what they have uploads, as they call them, is either popular or newest, the latest that they've added and work your way down. But uh, you used to be able to go back to their early videos or their first videos and watch them forward. So I, I enjoyed that. They did away with that. They did away with a lot of things. But one thing that, that was killing me was the commercials. Now I told you about this a while ago. I said that it starts off, they're gonna start off with one three minute skippable ad. And then it's gonna go to uh, you know a little bit longer before you could skip it. And now it's two ads and then one of them is not skippable and it's just they it got crazy and it's only going to get worse so uh being that i watch a lot of youtube i said yeah i had to break down and get the premium now some of you already have the premium you know what i'm talking about it's commercial free it's like the old youtube used to be which is wonderful but you have to pay for it now so it's 16 dollars a month but they do have a 30 day trial so if you're on the fence give it a try it's a life changer game changer those commercials are just getting horrible and they're sticking them in everywhere. I don't want to see commercials when I'm watching YouTube. So anyway, there we go. Uh, I have uh, now YouTube Premium, big screen TV, so I'm really enjoying it. And uh, the poor man's flea market this week was very good. A couple things we saw uh, out there. One was this, look at this old type of, it was a barber chair, kind of a modern one. But if you wanted to cut hair at home, this is the one you would grab. And uh, that same night, I saw uh, this in the guy. He just put this out, this bicycle, an electric bicycle. And this thing, they go for big money, you know, but, uh, and it was in good, you know, decent shape, just a little bit rusted up. It needed a battery. But it just goes to show you the stuff today is just made to toss, isn't it? But I didn't take any of that stuff. But I did take some of this. Let me show you what I got. First thing I found, two lengths, cutoffs of these, this fence. So somebody was putting up a fence and they cut these off. It's still in the plastic. And you know how I like to make boxes and whatnot. So we're going to make something out of this, hopefully today. Let me show you what else Next, I found. Next, I found these. Now, this here is it came from a mirror. Do you ever see those mirrors in the, that have lights going all around it? Well, this is the sockets that powers those lights, and uh, and they're very interesting, especially for the projects I make, like those uh, boxes. And how this works is there's two uh, nuts, and this is made of a plastic or whatever. It's not made for high voltage or high wattage bulbs, but you can see here what you would do, and and you can see this two wires. They run in series, so they keep uh, you know the two wires come in and they keep going. And um, how you uh, put this in, now depending if you were putting it into a, a regular board, you could adjust the, the thickness of it. So uh, we're putting it into PVC, so we'll probably have the bottom one here, the top one like this. You drill this diameter hole, you push this through, you tighten this down, and voila, you got a socket. And isn't that great? And look at I got all these. That's what, that was a good find. Okay, uh, next up, there was something I didn't show that I picked up at the uh, tool meet last time. I got this from my buddy Greg. And uh, what these are, can you see that? You know, you don't usually see these too often in mostly shops and stuff. But uh, what this is, is a, a chasing uh, tap or 
rethreading tap. It's not made to cut new threads. It's made to fix or repair buggered up threads you might have. And they come in different sizes. And we're going to go through this. We're going to go through a whole um, episode on just taps and dies and chasing taps and dies because we had an interesting conversation with Dan and uh, we got that coming up but I picked these up they were all covered in grease and grunge and you know like a lot of mechanic tools are so I soaked them in evaporust believe it or not you know even though they weren't rusty the evaporust gets rid of the grease and grime and then you just with a fine brass brush whenever you're cleaning out the threads or something use a brass you know very soft brush or you could use nylon and get the grease out of there. So we're going to be talking about that very soon. Okay, so last week at the show, my buddy Bruce Groton really hooked me up with some great electric. You know I love old-timey electrical stuff because I like to make these kind of boxes, these test boxes, things like that. So I have, for years, I've been kind of collecting and hoarding these old <laughs> Leviton and Eagle electric uh, electric. Uh, outlets and switches and like this one here you open this up and this is uh vintage you can see here it's pre barcode that's how old it is but look at that beautiful american made nicely done and uh so what i want to do is because bruce gave me this awesome timer and this is meant to go into a wall or a wall switch but what i wanted to do is make a box and make a little timing box and i'll tell you why later but let's open it up we got the parts we need i just need a outlet cover a switch cover and we'll, we'll just make a nice little box okay they make this uh switch in two different configurations this one is a heavy duty 20 amp rated they also make it in a 5 amp rated the difference is the 5 amp rated only has three wires coming out of here where the 20 amp has four wires and they give you a very simple diagram on how to hook it up here. You can see here. Now, if you look, the this diagram on the left here, this is for the 5 amp. If you have the 5 amp switch, is only three wires, and it shows you how to come in. With this one here, this one's uh, the 20 amp. So you can see here, the only real difference is there's that extra wire. So when the black, the hot, comes from the from your power source, it attaches to the black here to the, with a wire nut, and the blue will go to your power, whatever, you know, you're going to power up. In our case, it's going to be an outlet. So let's get started. Now, this is the cord that I want to use here. Uh, this is a heavy-duty 20-amp rated uh, cord. You can see how thick the wires are in here. Nice. Uh, and it's not too long, just what I wanted. Now, in order to uh, transition this through the box, okay, you don't want it to just have a hole in there and this hanging out because it's it looks kind of wonky. It's not professional. So we want to have an interface between the cord and the box. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece of Delrin, Take it over to the lathe. I'm going to drill a hole in here that's going to be a, a real snug fit so that the cord goes through. And then I'll, I'll reduce this section and I'll make a hole in there that, that will go through and, uh, and press in there. And then on the other side, you could put a zip tie or whatever you want to secure that in there. Some people thread it. There's a bunch of different ways to do it. Let's see what we come up with.
Okay, here we go. You see the part we made here? And it's a pretty part, isn't it? A uh, Delrin is such a joy to turn. And it's also good practice. Everything we do in the shop, I always tell you, is practice for when you need to do a good job. Here we, uh, we turned this section down to 5 eighths. We've made this a press fit. Watch this. See that? Now, the cord will pass through there nicely. See that? Nice snug fit. And then what we'll do is on the inside, you put a zip tie on there and that'll never come out. Or you can glue, you could do whatever you want, but isn't that nice? Seeing John Crane, right on with John Crane's video on wire nuts really changed the way I do it. So here we do, we twist the wires, put the wire nut on, a zip tie goes over there electrical tape finishes up that's that's as good as you're going to get here's that strain relief there that we did that and and you can see here i i put a little hot melt glue around it along with the zip tie so that, that will never come out and we're calling this project done how cool is this little thing huh and you can see here we did poplar on the side i happen to have some spare poplar around so we did poplar on the side um nice bake light by the way that is Bakelite, it says it right here. Can you see that? Bakelite grounded outlet vintage, and uh, and then we have it coupled with the new timer. And you can see there's an indicator light that shows it's working. And what you do is you hit one of these, and you could hear the relay click on. Listen to when I hit it, hear that, and then there's an indicator light showing there, and that's off, and that's a 20 amps. So I put on that extra heavy cord just in case I want to put on a motor or something. Let me show you how it works. Now here we have just a test bowl put in there and uh, I'll hit the five minute mark. And that's it. Now that bulb will be on there. I timed it exactly five minutes and it has five, 10, 15 or 30 minute interval switches. And if you want to shut it off at any time, you just hit that. I think, and there, of course the back here, what we did, just a, <laughs> Isn't this a sweet little gadget? I love stuff like this. Anyway, this one's in the can. What do you think about this project? Okay, so in closing, uh, that project was a lot of fun. Now, I know you can get the timers. You know, you can get them on Amazon cheaper, but it's not like building your own. And Bruce, thank you so much for that. That really, I just, I love making that little box with that uh, timer. And I can use it for a lot of things. And, and the one thing is about that, it's a high amperage, a 20 amp timer. You don't see too many 20 amp timers. Now, I never use anything over 15 amps in my house. If I was going to use something 20 amps, I just would have to up the outlet a little bit. That outlet's probably good 15 amps, but it was an older one. But um, it's just a great little unit. Uh, one last question I have to ask for you, if I wonder if you'll do me this favor. Um, I need to know, uh, again, the settings on the camera is a little bit off or whatever changing. I need to know if you, uh, the, the saturation level on the on the, on the, the uh the camera if you notice anything different like for example uh this is saturation level number one and this is saturation level zero so could you let me know which one you prefer so this way i can make sure i set it into the camera i you know i know when you're watching it on the phone or the computer it's different than the tv so please let me know this again is uh zero and this again is number one so i appreciate your help and thanks so much for tuning in hope you have a great day Take care now. Bye-bye. How you doing? You look exhausted. How about you? <laughs> you guys just don't care. You just don't care.